Okay, using tretinoin can be a little bee sometimes. Tretinoin is a little bee. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. My name is Rudy, and thank you so much for being here. Today we're going to talk about tretinoin, my acne journey, and how to properly use this medication to get the most out of it, and to see that glass-like skin that you've seen online associated with tretinoin. You've probably clicked on this video because you're either A, just getting on tretinoin, B, you're on your tret journey, you're unhappy with your results, or you're really scared about the purge. I've been in both situations. I'm on tretinoin now for nine months. These are my results currently. I do have a little bit of makeup on and we'll get into that in just a little bit. I'm gonna be sharing photos along the way. We're gonna look through all of this together. You can see how I got to where I'm at today and hopefully you can get some tips along the way. If your experience was anything like mine, your dermatologist did not tell you anything about tretinoin when you got prescribed it. She basically handed me a tube and was like, honey, put this on your face, it'll do wonders which is great, except for I had no idea what it was, how to use it, and there were definitely some issues that came from that. I really wish that dermatologists would be more realistic and honest with their patients about results from tretinoin, but also the purging stage and some of the side effects that come with using this medication. So let's quickly talk about what tretinoin actually is. Tretinoin is a topical form of vitamin A, which is used to treat acne and other skin conditions, but it's also used topically for wrinkles, fine lines, and cosmetic reasons. This is my tretinoin. I have 0.025%, and I do use the cream. Tretinoin and Retin-A are the same thing, so you can use those interchangeably when talking about tretinoin. This is not a medication that you can just add into your routine without thinking about some other factors of your skincare. I'm not saying that you have to stop your routine or completely change it, but you may need to alter it to get the best results for you. I wanna reiterate that we need to be realistic in our tretinoin journey. If you don't have the wherewithal to wait for possibly multiple months for your skin to clear up, you need to adjust your expectations. Not just of tretinoin, but of your skin in general, because the skin is a very slow growing, fixing organ, unfortunately, especially when it comes to acne, which I I assume is the reason most of you are here today. With all that said, I'd like to do a month by month recap of what you might be able to expect when using tretinoin, but also some of the things I did along the way that I shouldn't have done or things that I wish I had done instead. Okay, so before I went on tretinoin, honestly, I had the occasional zit, rarely came around and it was usually around my period. Everything was smooth sailing. Last summer, I developed adult acne and it came on. Honey, it came on fast, okay? I got engaged in May. In June, we had a party, and in July, I had a face full of zits. I hadn't dealt with acne in years. I wasn't sure what to do first, and I had a shit ton of products from BoxyCharms and Sephora, all that I know now are not good for my skin, that I was just piling on trying to do anything to get rid of it. After trying a Clarisonic, charcoal, every face mask I could find. Obviously none of it was working and it was actually making things worse. I knew I had my engagement pictures coming up, so I called my dermatologist, went in, and they prescribed me tretinoin. As I mentioned before, she did not give me any background on the drug. I knew nothing about it. And all I know is they said, put it on your forehead, chin, cheeks, and nose, only a pea-sized amount, you'll be fine. Not knowing much about skincare at the time, I was like, okay, great, this must be a miracle drug. I'm gonna put it all over my face and by tomorrow, I'll be good, sweetie. That was not the case. After the first week, I realized, oh shit, this stuff is hardcore. If you're on tretinoin or you've looked it up, you've probably heard of the purge. Okay. And let me tell you, I got my purge, the start of my purge within a week of using tretinoin. The first week I used tretinoin, my face exploded. I mean, truly exploded. There were pimples everywhere. I'd never seen that many pimples in my entire life. And I remember thinking like, oh my God, I cannot leave my house. To make matters worse, of course I was going places. This was not during quarantine. I was going to weddings. I was going out with my friends and I was so self-conscious. I remember thinking, I have to quit this medication. There's no way I can continue on looking like this. This really strong initial purge only lasted for a few weeks. There were times that I wanted to give up, but I didn't because of videos like this one where I saw results on people who had severe acne, who had beautiful skin months later, and I really, really wanted to believe that it was gonna work for me. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's a really hard time going through the purge, mentally, emotionally, all of it. Your face hurts, 
you're sad, and you have more zits than when you started with. So in month two, I started to see a small improvement in my acne. At this point, I was using tretinoin once every week, once every four days. I was starting to gain my confidence back a little bit, but I was definitely not out of the doghouse. I was being careless about my makeup. I was not wearing SPF, which we'll talk about in a little bit. And because of this, at the end of month two, I had a ginormous second purge. Some people talk about a second purge. Some people don't have it praise them so happy for them it's not something i experienced i had the purge honey i had two the second purge lasted a lot longer and included a lot of cystic acne which leads us into month three some people purge in weeks others purge in months if you don't see results within three to six months on tretinoin I would contact your doctor. My purge lasted three full months before I started to see things clearing up and there were definitely days I wanted to give up and I'm so glad I didn't. So in month three, large cystic pimples were coming up, honey. They were saying, hi, how you doing? It was a mess. I was constantly picking my face. Don't do that. No, it was shit. It was hard. It was bad. I was putting on makeup to cover it up, knowing that obviously you can see it. It was just a horrible time. But I could feel underneath those cystic zits, something clearing. I could tell that there was good skin coming under there. The sides of my forehead started to clear up and it was like sort of right in the middle of my face and I knew that it was starting to work. Month four. Clear skin, sweetie. I had clear skin, oh my God. It was the best feeling ever. I remember taking this selfie and doing a boomerang moment and being like, oh my God, this is, this is what they were talking about. This is the glass skin, sweetie, I'm here. I'm here. During that month, I stopped taking before and after pictures. I was enjoying my life with good skin. If you have acne, you know, your entire thought process revolves around acne. It revolves around what you see. It revolves around waking up every morning and checking in the mirror to see if you have acne. It's everything you think about. So to have a month without thinking about my skin, shit's chaos. It was amazing. Month five came and the weather changed up a little bit in Nashville and I started to get a little pimples cropping up on my face again. Immediately I was like, oh God, it's coming back, it's coming back. And I went into this dark place where I was taking pictures every day again, I was freaking out. But just know that there's gonna be ups and downs within your tretinoin journey. It doesn't mean that you're gonna go back to square one. You are not going to go back to square one if you continue use. Honestly, from month five through nine, which is what I'm in now, I've had pretty clear skin. I have the occasional zit, of course, if you have acne in your life, tretinoin is not going to cure every single ailment you have. I'll just tell you that now. It's advertised online as like this miracle drug, which it can be at times, but honey, it's not gonna fix your life. But knowing what triggers that acne is really important. I wanna share some general tips on using tretinoin and things I learned. Tip number one, ease into it. I did my best to ease into it, okay? I started on tretinoin once a week when I got it, simply once a week. If you start more than that, you're gonna experience a lot of peeling, a lot of redness and sensitivity to the sun. At the time when I started, I was not wearing SPF, which is the dumbest thing I've ever done. And I, please don't follow my mistakes. Like I said, ease into it. Start with once a week, build up that tolerance. This is a strong medication. I myself have been on it for nine months and I'm still only using it every three days. My second tip is moisturize first to create a little barrier while you're getting started using tretinoin. I'm going to do another video on my entire skincare routine, which includes tretinoin, and also show you what moisturizer I use, all of that jazz. But the tip is moisturize first, so you're gonna go through your entire skincare routine, put on your moisturizer, let it sit for 30 minutes while you're getting started, go brush your teeth, whatever it may be, and then put your tretinoin on on top of that. I still put moisturizer on beforehand because I have sensitive skin. In a lot of cases, if you have acne, you probably have sensitive skin as well. Tip number three, lay off other actives while you're using tretinoin. There are a lot of very trendy companies right now making actives for skincare, things like The Ordinary. And I love The Ordinary. There are some things that I've added back into my routine, but originally you really wanna keep it simple. My suggestion would literally be cleanser, moisturizer, tretinoin. And every morning you wanna do the same thing, you're gonna cleanse, moisturize, and SPF. Tretinoin is doing a lot of the heavy lifting and honestly it doesn't need help from other things. 
if you're using tretinoin, I would consider that your treatment, your active, and just lay off the other stuff, which I know can be difficult because we've all spent a lot of money on skincare, but honestly, being able to pare down your routine, that's the goal, right? We wanna use less on our face so that over time our skin has time to heal without all of these other things getting in the way. Tip number four. Consider your entire routine when you're using tretinoin. I remember when I started, I was trying to find the best cleanser, the best moisturizer, which we're gonna go through that in another skincare routine video. But just know that fragrance-free, hypoallergenic, things that aren't gonna clog your pores, usually what the dermatologist recommends is gonna be best for you. When I first started on my journey, I literally watched all of Dr. Dre's videos to find the best moisturizers. She has so many videos on Retin-A. I personally have oily skin. I use the CeraVe PM moisturizer. I use it in the morning and at night. Once you have nailed down your skincare routine, morning and night, stick to it. When I first started, I was like, oh, I'm gonna try this, I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna put this in here and I'm gonna kick this out. And because I changed it up so much, my skin freaked out. Stick to the routine, trust me. Tip number five, sis, it's SPF. I know that wearing sunscreen has become like kind of a cool thing to do recently, but literally I never wore sunscreen until this year and I regret it. I am of Croatian descent. I like to tan, I like to be tan. If I wore sunscreen outside, I would usually use the spray sunscreen in the SPF 4. Honey, that is not doing anything for you. It is so important to find the right sunscreen for you because using tretinoin makes your skin extremely photosensitive. I use a Paula's Choice sunscreen. I will list it down below. Once you find one that works for you, stick with it and wear it every day, rain or shine. I know you've probably heard this before, but truly sunscreen is the best anti-aging ingredient that you can use. Along with tretinoin, honey, you're gonna live to be 130 and you're gonna look like you're 26. Tretinoin and sunscreen, they're best friends, sweetie. You don't wanna break them up. I've heard of a lot of horror stories of people using Retin-A and not using sunscreen and it makes your skin so mad. Don't do it. Wear your sunscreen. Tip six, do not get discouraged along the way. Being on Tretinoin really is a wake up call because honey is strong. I was discouraged so many times throughout my journey because I felt like it wasn't going to work. I kept thinking, why is this happening to me? But just know that there are so many people out there dealing with the same problem who are here for you, including me. You have to stick with it. Tretinoin is a long-term medication. It's not something that's gonna fix your face overnight. So please do not lose hope on what this can do for your skin. And my last tip for you is to track your skincare. Track what you eat, because this is really gonna give you an indicator of what triggers your acne. I wanted to give a quick shout out to Sarah's skin story here on YouTube. I actually bought her skin tracker and it has been amazing. So Sarah is also someone who has dealt with acne for a long time and is on a tretinoin journey as well. Highly recommend checking out her channel. She has tons of tips about tretinoin. She actually created a skin journal that helps you track so many things, it tracks your health, it tracks food, exercise. And then at the very end of the month, after you've tracked each thing daily, you can go through and see what's really affected your skin the most and see what patterns are being made. So like I said, I will link this down below. Go check out Sarah's channel. I also wanna recommend the app Chloe. If you would rather use your phone instead of writing stuff down, it's essentially the same thing, but it's in an app. The great thing about using Chloe is that I've kept all of my photos in there and they're not in my photo stream because trust me, I know that it gets really annoying when you go to take a photo or someone's looking at your photos and all they see are pictures of your stupid acne. It's embarrassing, you look crazy, if you use the Chloe app, it keeps all of the photos in there. You can see over time how your skin is looking. It's been great for me. Both of those journals or both of their skincare trackers, I highly recommend. Okay, let's talk a little bit about makeup. I love makeup. That's part of what this channel is going to be about. It's a passion of mine. It's something I enjoy. Please know that just because you are on tretinoin or an acne medication, that does not mean that you are not able to wear makeup anymore if it's something that you truly enjoy. Today I'm wearing makeup. Granted, it's not what I used to wear. It's different products. My techniques are different to keep my skin as clear as possible, but I love the way I look. I'm happy to do an entire other video on the best makeup to wear during your tretinoin routine. The best products for you to have during tretinoin are going to be fragrance-free, non-comedogenic, and tested on people who have acne. 
we just need to be careful about our face products. So our foundation, blushes, bronzers, and highlighters, we really need to be careful about what we choose. If you're interested in this makeup look, let me know down below. It is super quick and easy. I put it together in like 10 minutes, but I still feel put together. And it's sort of like a Glossier, but I didn't use Glossier products type of look. After nine months, do I have perfect skin? Absolutely not. I still get the occasional zit. I still get them in the places that really needed help when I first started tretinoin. You know, it's not an overnight cure. And I don't think it's ever gonna cure 100% of my acne because the truth is, I'm a person with acne. Don't get complacent with using tretinoin. You need to continue your use with it. When things get better, continue to use it. Sound off in the comments below. Let me know if you have any questions about tretinoin, if you want more information on this look, or if you wanna know what type of makeup I used during my purge with tretinoin, I'm happy to make any of those videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.